Hey everybody, Garrett Claridge here, back with another speaker blowout, and today the theme is old computer speakers. These are all old multimedia speakers that are all well over a decade old now. We have the Yamaha, there's a Creative, I wish I had the satellites for this one. <laughs> and then there's the old Altec Lansing, this is a popular one right here. Let's take a closer look and see what we got. So the first system I have is the Altec Lansing AVS. 300 and this is the oldest one because it was put out in uh, 2002 Just a little reference for you <laughs> Now the next system we're looking at is the YST 201. Oh, I'm sorry. That's the MS 201 and this system came out in 2003 Wow, this is hard to write on that <laughs> 2003. <laughs> Next up, I have the subwoofer from the Creative iTrig 3400. I'm not even going to try to spell iTrig. <laughs> but this is the newest system we're looking at. This came out in 2007. Now, unfortunately, I don't have the power adapters for any of these. And actually, I'm not too sure how you open one of these things here. Doesn't seem to be a way to do it correctly, so. Oh, look at that little driver in there. That's cool. Hey, that's neat. Too bad they put it in there with hot glue though, I think. Oh wait, no, there's hot glue over the screws. That's a cool little custom amp board they had in there. Hopefully this one's still okay, I kind of pulled the terminal off it a bit. Now for the Yamahas. Aw, oh, no way. Come on, Yamaha. Uh, what the hell's going on in here? No! Ah, oh, come on! Nice. Quite the amplifier in that one. I wish I got the satellite speakers with these. They're really neat. They had these triple neo magnet drivers stacked up that looked a lot like this front panel here. This thing's tough. Here we can see the port system they used. Here's how it was, pointing upwards or downwards, something like that. Fold it inside. 
pretty nice looking woofer in here. Actually says Cambridge Soundworks on the back. Pretty beefy looking amplifier in this guy too. Let's see here, copyright creative. Oh, this actually says 2004 on it. Now that's pretty nice for something like this. Looks like it has a lot of excursion. I kind of uh, bent it out of shape a little bit. <laughs> there we go. So we ended up with a nice selection of drivers here. Some nice subwoofer drivers. These are pretty neat. Although, actually, I accidentally ruined one of these. Uh, let's see, this one right here. I was trying to be careful with it, and then I think it fell off the bench and the uh, lead fell off. So this one is no good. <laughs> We're going to be plugging these into the Carvin DCM2000. That is a 2000 watt power amplifier. We have it in bridge mono right now, so that's the most power I can get out of that thing. We'll be using a new From Zero to Z track. This should be pretty good. Let's get this turned up. me right in the face that big smoke cloud now let's see what this Altex satellite will do pretty cool little dust cap on there Lock to the coil in there though. <laughs> All right, let's check out one of these subwoofers here. We'll start out with this Yamaha one.
my god! Oh. <laughs> wow! Oh! Okay, turn the amp off. <laughs> yes! <laughs> well, that was crazy. Holy! Oh, that stinks. Oh, yeah, it's... God, oh, it's covering me and stuff. Ashes. <laughs> yeah, that was absolutely crazy for something this size. I actually think the uh, surround popped off. Now let's move on to this Altec Lansing here. <laughs> the cat just opened the door on me. Uh, yeah, a little coil in there. Marking it up so we can clearly see the movement. Locked her up solid here. Mangled that coil up pretty good. Strands aren't very thick on that one. Wow, this thing's still warm. Anyway, here's our last speaker of the day. We have the Cambridge Soundworks, as it says on the back. <laughs> this came in the Creative Speaker System. I was about to say, I think there's blood on it, but it's from me manhandling it and throwing it around a little bit. I cut myself. <laughs> what a mess. So this one has the vented dust cap with these little holes right here. Not a bad. Oh, there's uh, little vents in the coil as well. Kind of cool. So this might do a little bit of damage. <laughs> smoking the room out on me holy crap wow still smoking oh man that's locked right up <laughs> I can't even get the coil out oh my god wow okay I hope there's more uh, copper in there than that Oh yeah, <laughs> a little more, I think that's it, Let's see how much copper we had in there, not that much, it did really well though, this was a really neat little woofer, 
Again, the Cambridge sound works. Holy! Well, that was quite a bit of action for some computer speakers, especially that Yamaha. That was hilarious. That new song from Zero to Z is... Oh, no. No fucking way. Well, what do you know? It's the artist behind From Zero to Z. This is Josh Hamby. How's it going, buddy? Going good. How are you doing? <laughs> Not too bad. I've just been hunkering down in the basement here. Like chilling out with my heater and my cats, you know the same old shit. <laughs> so that uh, that last song you just sent me, it totally lit fires in here. It was epic. <laughs> right on. I'm gonna have to ask all my viewers to go ahead and uh, head over to Josh's channel. He needs a few hundred more subscribers to get his monetization back. If you could help him out, that would be amazing. This guy makes awesome tunes. <laughs> Right on. I'll see you around, dude. That was friggin' perfect timing. <laughs> well, that's about it for these speakers. If you enjoyed today's content, be sure to give the video a like and subscribe to the channel, as well as check out From Zero to Zed. That's about all for now. Have a great day.